Born in Barada District, Winif Gyanima is the first female-born aeronautical engineer who crossed from her career to become a politician and diplomat. After she completed her training, Ganyama worked as a flight engineer for Uganda Airlines. Ganyama served as Uganda's ambassador to France. She then served as a member of the Constituent Assembly that drafted the 1995 Ugandan Constitution. She was appointed as a director of the gender team in the Bureau for Development Policy at UNDP in November 2006. She is a woman of solid achievements. She made history in 2013 when she became the first African to take the helm of Oxfam International. My life has been a story that's very Oxfam because I grew up in Uganda under a military dictatorship. I fled, I became a refugee in England. And when we're responding, saving lives of people trapped in conflict, people trapped by disaster, it just reminds me of my life. can't just keep saying that there's a growing middle class when there's one billion people in a world full of riches that are hungry and are living desperate lives. With poultry workers in the richest country in the world, the United States, Dolores, one woman we work with there, told us that she and her co-workers have to wear diapers to work because they are not allowed toilet breaks. This is in the richest country in the world. So don't tell me about low levels of unemployment. You are counting the wrong things. You're not counting dignity of people. You're counting exploited people. An empowered woman is a woman who has got food for her children, whose children are going to school, who has a voice in her home, whose husband listens to her, respects her. It's a woman who's free to work. It's a woman who's free of violence, who is not beaten, who is not abused psychologically, who enjoys her freedom. I see myself as part of a movement and with a long journey ahead, many challenges. There are moments when I'm excited about what we've done and battles we've won, and then there are moments when I feel, oh my God, roll up our sleeves, let's get going. Every day I wake up, there's a lot of work to do. When the story of Africa's great daughters is finally told, there is no doubt hers will stand in the pride of place, a woman who rose to challenge when her people needed her.